It's a, it's a lot money. of money that came out of Simeon's plan of February 2009. Did you get an answer as to why the loan was restructured and the investors well, would be paid back before the taxpayer? Well, I think even the Democrat, uh, Congressman Green from Texas, indicated he didn't think it was legal. So I think we have some bipartisan agreement that uh, the Secretary Chu did an illegal act by subordinating taxpayers to these two hedge funds. You, but he you, kept, wait, wait, you call that illegal? I think it's illegal. I think when you broke the Energy Policy Act 2005 by subordinating that $535 million to two hedge funds, I think that's an illegal act. It's against the law. And I think, I think frankly, it's, it's something enough in itself, the way he did it and how he parsed language with his own internal counsel uh, to come up with the language when he had an outside firm initially told him he couldn't do it. Yeah, and that's a so, heavy charge. Where do you take that? Where does that go next? Well, unfortunately, in the Energy Policy Act, there's no penalties. Uh, None. And I think, that's, I think that's where Congress has to step in and rewrite the Energy Policy Act so that this can't be done. And if it's done again, there's some severe penalties because right now there's no punishment other than you can't do it. Right, and it's but just to be clear, statement. if Congress allows it, that's not illegal then. That goes back on your charge. Well, no, if, if, uh, if there's no severe punishment or there's no stipulation in the law of what happens and you still do something that is against the actual intent, that's something that's illegal. And I think anybody that looks at that one sentence will realize that he broke the law. Yeah, I know you've been very strong.